I don't know how this guy went about making a white hole, but we have a white hole here. Hold on here. Let me pull up Venus's composition here. Holy Jesus, what is going on? There's like this graph option. Hold on, this is cool. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. And this game just got, actually, I got this update a couple weeks ago. It's a very huge update. We have the Steam Workshop now in Universe Sandbox. So it's something that I've always wanted because I've always wanted to be able to get simulations and then just load them in and just see what people have come up with. Maybe, for example, my, my tertiary system that I've never fully gotten working. Maybe there will be something in Steam Workshop where we can actually see what that would look like. Uh, but it's only halfway there, in my opinion, because I really want custom models to be loaded into this. But I think the developers are working on that but it's not quite in there yet so right now it's just simulations so i'm thinking for this video i'm just going to go into the steam workshop and we're just going to see what kind of strange simulations people have come up with i want to take a look at the nuclear war simulation the number one most subscribed simulation okay nuclear war there was a nuclear war simulation to see it is december okay it's december 12th 2045 the world has developed far more powerful nukes anyone could have imagined these nukes are 10 times more powerful than the czar bomb one nuke can take out large amounts of land who will win this war okay well i'm gonna zoom out this looks like a magnetic field what is even going on here oh we have anti -ballistic, we have ballistic missiles american ballistic missile okay well it's a a North Korean hydrogen nuke getting launched over. <laughs> okay, I kind of see what's going on here. So it's, it really just looks like asteroid impacts that are kind of just carpet bombing the planet. I feel like the trails just kind of kill it. And also there are plenty of missiles that are just leaving the planet. I think this one's kind of a dud. I think someone tried their best to try and simulate it, but I don't know if it was the best execution because I'm pretty sure we wouldn't be able to get an ICBM to leave Earth's gravitational pull. I think you would need a much, much bigger rocket than that. Let's look at Elon Musk approves. Oh. Saturn's new rings are here. I try my best to create the most original content for this community. Memes are the results. So... Basically, Saturn, with a bunch of Tesla Roadsters that Elon Musk launched <laughs> into orbit around the sun, which is still out there currently. There's currently a car floating around in space with a mannequin dude, and who knows? That might be a body. Someone might have actually gotten away with the perfect murder, and there is a body out there in space, and no one's going to be able to find that body. All right, let's just see what this looks like. No way. Someone actually managed to do that? Let's see. Let's... Well, we have one roadster that seems like it's gone a little chaotic. One of them is transferring to the small ring. Uh, let's just speed this up and see how quickly this just evolves into madness. But, oh, yep, they're starting to crash into each other. There's eventually going to be a winning roadster, and now they're getting sucked up into the planet. <laughs> okay, well, that's impressive. That's impressive. Uh, let's check out the white hole simulation. This is the one I'm really curious about. So, what's going on here? The white hole simulation marked by a black hole uh, that which was bugged a while, god damn it, these guys, a while special conditions and later set negative mass. Negative mass, Warner, weaker computers can be blow up even if I have only 17 FPS, but it cost for that. Like, I don't think, I think, I don't think you're speaking. I think English is like your second language or something. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, this definitely looks bugged because I, I can zoom out just fine. But then at some point, some point this happens. What on earth? It doesn't bend light at all. I would feel like there would be a similar light effect where, I mean, if black holes distort light outwards, I feel like it would cause light to be inward. So it's almost like, I almost feel like a white hole would be invisible. I don't know. I don't <laughs> I guess it's emitting all the light that's getting sucked in, so all light comes in, it just goes out in all directions, and so that causes it to look white. But I almost feel like a white hole wouldn't look white at all. It would more so be like a bubble, and it's just reflecting images back at you because, because it's not taking in light, it's bouncing light back, but you might not necessarily get white light because, you know, if you're in a dark point of space, there may not be enough light for there to be white light. Uh, and that's a lot of light it would have to constantly be emitting back. So I, I would want to say it would be almost like invisible. You wouldn't be able to see a black hole. But that's just thinking in my head. Just thinking in my head. With knowledge that I know, which may not be accurate. I'm not 
I don't know. <laughs> Scientists know better than me. I know these have been caught up before, but let's test this. A white hole, the opposite of a black hole, it doesn't suck in things, it repels. So if I launch Earth, for example, we're gonna be launching Earth at Venus, and I, th let's just, let's just hit, oh, oh, whoa, ooh, what just happened? Okay, so now I'm zooming in on Venus, and now Venus has turned into a, like a pulsating singularity. Okay, so that's why, okay, so maybe it is, actually, no, Venus is starting to become white again. Okay, anyways, let's launch something. Did it work? No, Earth is, Earth is right there. Are you moving, Earth? What's your velocity? Or are you just gonna stay like that? Let's try and just get much closer to this thing. How about that? Fire Earth into Venus. Now will Earth get spat right back out? It did. It did. How would this Earth have been able to go this way unless it was a white hole? But he made a negative mass. I The game doesn't let me do that, so I don't know how this guy went about making a white hole making a white hole, but we have a white hole here. Hold on here, let me pull up Venus's composition here. Holy Jesus, what is going on? There's like this graph option. Hold on, this is cool. You can see the mass just oscillating up and down, up and down, up and down. Now, why would that be happening? And then there's the radius. Are we looking? Okay, and here's the radius. The radius is also oscillating up and down. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, I kind of like having this graph thing here. If the mass, if the mass keeps, if it keeps increasing, there we go, we just had a new peak for some reason. That would imply that we are creating mass out of nothing. Or, or that it's taking in light and it's converting that to mass or something like that. If, you, if anyone's taken a physics class, you should know the golden law in all of the universe. You cannot create nor destroy energy. If you're creating mass, then that means you're taking energy from somewhere. And if you're creating energy, then you're removing mass from somewhere. It's like they're directly, they would be directly convertible. Unless, unless there's something we don't know and something has just been discovered in the steam simulation known as Universe Sandbox. Holy crap, I, it just exploded. I'm gonna look at a different simulation here. Turned the outer planets into the inner planets and the inner planets into the moons and the moons into the something. It's something. I don't know what the hell's going on with this system. What? Is this stable? Turn the outer planets into inner planets, the inner planets into moons, and moons into moons of moons that were planets. So they're te they've technically become the inner planets because those are the only inner planets. And now we have Jupiter right here turning into... Jupiter is basically holding all of the inner planets and then all of the moons of of those planets are now moons of said planet and they're probably all moons around Earth. Oh, and Mars as well. What about Venus? Does Venus have a moon? Venus has no moon. We have Earth. How's Earth doing? Is this stable? Earth has the moon and then Mars has as what? Mars has Phobos and Diemos. But basically all the inner planets are orbiting Jupiter. That's kind of a stretch, I would say, whoever did this. I thought I thought you were going to actually do a switcheroo where the inner planets are are the outer planets, and then we would just have the inner planets all the way out here. You're just doing a little switcheroo. Life around a pulsar. What is that? Ooh. I've actually I'm not sure if I've ever seen a pulsar in this game look like this. Also, I like the way this background looks. We have a nice purpley background. I've never changed my background before in Universe Sandbox. I want to do more simulations like this where it looks very pretty. Okay, so there's a pulsar. If you don't know what a pulsar is, a pulsar is a very, 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 very tiny star that is spinning very, 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 very fast. So it's a spinning disc and it ends up with, with this kind of accretion disc, I want to say. The, like that, that's kind of the term for a black hole you would have that ring of light and then there's beams that just shoot out from both sides I don't know exactly what causes that but I think it would still be called an accretion disk uh, but we have life do we have life does this does this moon right here say likelihood of life uh, composition would it be here earth similarity 86% but life likelihood is zero 
What about you? Ooh, life likelihood, 79.4%. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Now, that's actually a cool picture. You have that pulsar. It is very... It's bright, but very dim. It would probably always look like it's dawn. I imagine seeing the Aurora Borealis, but you just see it all the time in the sky. You just see this glow streaking across the sky. Honestly, you would see less of a dot in the sky. Like maybe you see that tiny dot, but it'd be more like a, the sun is just spread out throughout the sky. It's not just a single point in space that is lining up the planet. It's this giant glow that collectively lights up the planet so i think in this solar system you can actually stare at the sun or the star does the moon have life let me see here uh earth similarity 59 percent, but life likelihood zero but that looks pretty cool i don't think it has water on it that's probably why does this have zero percent 48 percent. okay lunox lunox does not have any life what about you 35 percent. nope 11 percent. so it looks like that one planet we checked out Oh, this is a gas giant. The one planet we checked out. Oh my god, this is super far out. Look at that. That's so cool. What was it? Sherry? Sherry is the one with the Earth likelihood. That is awesome. Who made this? Like someone just straight up made this and they and they managed to make like a terrestrial planet with clouds and everything. Is this planet even real? Did they just construct this themselves by placing in a random exoplanet and then changing the composition and then it resulted in this. I mean, that's screenshot worthy, all this stuff. I like it. I like that simulation. That simulation is pretty sweet. Okay, now Mars 2181. Elon Musk has Mars terraformed with city lights and snow caps. How did you do this? I don't even know how to do this in Universe Sandbox. So this is Mars. This is that scar, I can't remember what you call it on Mars' surface, but if you've seen a picture of Mars before, you've probably seen this giant uh, canyon right here. Then here are some oceans, there are basically no ice caps, and we have city lights. How did you add city lights? Actually, the city lights look like they're parts of clouds. Maybe there's a part of this game that I don't know about yet. Maybe, maybe you can customize where city lights are going to be. But this is basically if Elon Musk took over the world also, this is... This simulation is in pure blackness. You can basically just screenshot this and send it to Elon Musk and be like, this is what's gonna, what SpaceX is going to do in the future. So Martian nuclear war. Let's open this one. Oh, and they can just open up right away. All right. So here is the Martian nuclear war where we have a bunch of items that are just on a sub orbital trajectory. Let's just start the simulation and let's say things go wrong with Elon Musk's grand plan and somehow we manage to destroy this planet too. We develop nukes super early on. That's the very first thing we do when we colonize Mars. Everyone splits off into different factions and then several years down the road, maybe a hundred years down the road, uh, civilization on all separated sides, they finally made their first nukes and then they launch them and then we, they kill each other. But it seems like some some bombs are just orbiting up in space. And I don't know when they're going to finally land up. So, okay, okay. Those are interesting ICBMs where they orbit the planet a few times and then they drop back down. It's like, like a little bit of a fake out. They launch a nuke and then it just taunts the enemy like, you don't know when this is going to come down. Yeah, this one just looks like it's permanently orbited. All right. So it's, just, it's just a bunch of... Uh, it's like they just made a bunch of stuff orbit. A bunch of meteors orbit and then they just changed the the orbit to some sub trajectory where it's going to crash right back into the planet. So it made it look like it's a nuclear war. I see what you did there. Earth, Venus, Earth and Mars 2.3, sorry, 2 to 3.8 billion years ago. Oh, really? I mean, how do we know that's Earth 2.3 billion years ago? The Earth is just kind of carpet bombed. I don't know if I believe that. This is Mars. Okay, that's realistic if it's Mars. That's Earth. Okay. And then this is proto Venus. So basically, all livable planets. Do we even know if there's water on Venus? Anyways, this one right here just says it's real science. And there's a picture of a guy, probably presumably a scientist, that's just saying yes. So I think this is going to be a good simulation. Oh. Okay. Okay. We have a bunch of Earths orbiting each other. Hit play. Uh... Maybe speed it up a little bit. Just to see what's going to... Oh, oh, oh. Uh-huh. 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 
Aha. 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 All right, all right. I have to agree with the fellow scientist. I have to agree. This is real science. Ooh, this is for the conspiracy theorists out there, or for the doomsdayers. Planet X. What is it called? Nibiru. I, I, I always see those theories like every year. It's like this year or next year, Planet X also known as Nibiru, is going to crash into planet Earth. No one has seen it, but it is on a collision course with the planet sometime in the year 2019. And here's the description. NASA has issued a planetary collision and has issued a planetary collision and no one will survive. This is the end of the world. <laughs> That's all it's gonna be. This is gonna be a planet collision. Oh my god. Planet X colliding into Earth. Oh my god, and it just... <laughs> it's less Planet X colliding into the Earth and more Planet X just completely blowing up Earth, but that's the new- it just takes Earth's spot. It's like, get out of the way, Earth. This is mine. <laughs> Experimental Galaxy. What is this one? This is an interesting looking thumbnail. I'm gonna judge them all by their thumbnails, just like I do with YouTube videos. This is gonna be a nice, hot, uh, simulation. Ooh. Oh, this is making my computer lag like crazy, but it's cool. It's cool, but it is a lot. This galaxy has been built from scratch, including over 18,000 particles. This may melt your computer. This galaxy is not made to be a realistic, but I'm just testing the particle system for an upcoming project. Keep checking. Uh, something and something may be coming. You may use this as a base to make your own projects. Okay, well, I think I need that RTX. I'm currently on a 980 Ti right now. Simulation can't run any faster of current settings. And that's it. I can run this at a probably three frames per second but at least it looks pretty at least like you know if you pause the video you can at least get an interesting screenshot of it it looks cool it looks cool it makes for a good thumbnail <laughs> here we go this is the world cup you can put a gif in there okay so there's a soccer ball and then earth is orbiting the soccer ball and it works <laughs> it definitely works saturn grid what's this one this one kind of looks like my perfectly engineered solar system a little bit okay so it's a bunch of saturns so it's like a star and then the irony is that a bunch of saturns are the rings of saturn so let's speed this up so is this stable this is pretty stable so actually this can be just like oh actually it's semi-stable well, let's let's try to play around with this while uh it is kind of stable we're gonna do similar experiments like we did in my perfectly engineered solar system video so we're just going to drag this up a little bit while it's paused and then we're gonna see what happens and then uh, all the saturns just shoot right up it's a little less elegant than the perfectly engineered solar system but it's resembling a little bit of patterns everything's moving kind of slow and we're gonna edit this and we're going to not move it up too much just gonna be like that and we're gonna see how it reacts okay very slowly and then okay you go like that all right it's doing something pretty elegantly okay that's a lot more elegant now this should make them all much further apart from each other so maybe they'll be less likely to influence each other and it can stay just a little more harmonious which definitely seems to be what it's doing you just give them all a little bit of height, and they're not really colliding. Oh, actually, that one managed to leave. All right, I guess this one is just not as harmonious, but that's kind of cool. That's definitely one that's more fun to experiment with. We're just going to do a 90-degree rotation like that. And then what if we do this, and we'll rotate 90 degrees this way? What will happen to Saturn when we hit play? So now everything is just going to diverge. Oh, 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 oh. now this is cool. Some stuff is going down. Some stuff is going up. What will you do? And it's just going to end up converging on each other, but it still looks kind of... If you look at it from certain angles, like, look at that. When you look at it from that perspective, it just looks like it's a bunch of comets. But really, it's not a bunch of comets. It's actually a bunch of planets that are just in orbit, but they're just going in different directions. But it all depends on how you look at it. That's cool. It's like it, that pr that particular projection. It just looks like it's a almost like an atom, a little bit, a little bit like an atom. What is this one called? What? That's all it is. W O T. What? It looks like it is a star 
that is exploding and I'm gonna keep zooming out and it's just shooting beams out into space. It might be the ultimate universe rave party. What the shit is this? We have holes here. Okay, okay, it's a, it's two pulsars kind of just orbiting each other. And then we have a bunch of planets, Jupiter, 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 Neptune. <laughs> Did someone just spam a bunch of crap and he's just like, yeah, I'll just call this what? I'm gonna hit play and see what happens. <laughs> and what's all this crap out here? It's like these guys are all just the bystanders what the bystanders watching all of this happen. Just zoom out and you just have a big party. This is what the aliens see when they look at our planet. They're just like, okay, we're not going over there. These guys look like they're clearly having too much fun in the universe. I think that about does it for now. Uh, that's just a, a taste, I guess, of some of the simulations that are out there right now. Uh, but I, what I want to do for future videos, uh, I've I've done so many universe sandbox videos over the last few years. Uh, and there's been a lot of experiments thrown at me, and I'm sure there's a lot of experiments that I haven't even touched on yet, or or maybe there's something I didn't do particularly well, but you know how to do it yourself. What you can do now is if you have the game, you can make the simulation, and if you want me to test it or just see it, just look at it in general, you can put it on the Steam Workshop, and I think uh, there should be a way to tag it. Just like include my name in there, just like Z Royal Viking or like hashtag Z Royal Viking. Okay, this one is called You Won't Regret This. And I'll ki <laughs> with a bunch. Oh. And that about does it for today. All right. I hope you've enjoyed Universe Sandbox 2. And I will see you all later with more simulations. <laughs> going to go outward, so we're going to see that radius expand, I think. Uh, but let's see if we get a similar effect. So there they go. They all expand outward. I wonder if it'll be enough for them just to completely deorbit. Because gravity gets weaker exponentially. That actually seems to be what's happening.